Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. And happy Wednesday, Huskers fans. We have another great show planned for you tonight. Joining us in Hour 1 is new Nebraska women's basketball assistant coach Jessica Keller. In Hour 2, we'll hear from Huskers men's hoops transfer guard Emmanuel Bandamel and College World Series expert Kyle Peterson. In pro sports this evening, looking across at the MLB, uh, lots of games just about set to get underway. The Yankees are playing the Rays in New York. That one's uh, just moments from first pitch, as are the Braves and Nationals, as the Braves look to stay hot. Orioles take on the Blue Jays in Toronto at 6.07. At 6.10, we'll see the Brewers battle the Mets. The Athletics battle the Red Sox. And then at 6.45, the Pirates and the Cardinals continue their series. At 7.05, we'll see the Padres take on the Cubs. At 7.40, it'll be the Guardians taking on the Rockies. And the Angels wrap things up against the Dodgers. The LA Battle of L.A. at 9.10 p.m. Some earlier finals from today's games. 3-2, to two, the Royals top the Giants. 7-4, to four, the Diamondbacks bested the Reds. 9-2, to two, the Astros took down the Rangers. 13 to nothing, the White Sox blew away the Tigers. 3-1, to one, Phillies beat the Marlins. And closing in on a final score here, Twins are up 5-0 in the bottom of the ninth over the Mariners with no outs in that one. Runner on second, so maybe the Mariners have some magic late. But that one close to being done as well. The NHL Stanley Cup Finals get underway tonight as the Colorado Avalanche host the back-to-back -back defending champion Tampa Bay Lightning at 7 p.m. The Avs will attempt to win their first cup, and the Tampa Bay Lightning look to achieve a three-peat. The NFL today, producer Andrew and I are celebrating as the Pittsburgh Steelers announced a four-year extension to two-time All-Pro safety Minka Fitzpatrick. He paid an average of $18.4 million over the course of the new deal on an average salary basis, uh, annual salary basis, excuse me, making him the highest paid safety in NFL history. And while the NBA is off tonight, uh, before game six of the finals tomorrow night, pro basketball story that deserves a lot of attention, Miles Copeland, basketball player in the professional startup league called the Basketball League, this is on ESPN, saved res, uh, referee John Scully's life after the ref collapsed from a heart attack during a playoff game this past weekend. After Scully collapsed, Copeland, who's a firefighter when not playing basketball, administered CPR until paramedics arrived, saving Scully's life. To top it off, the game resumed after Scully was taken to the hospital and Copeland helped his team win that game. They are still playing. That was an elimination game. They went on to win the series and are playing in semifinals on Thursday night. Copeland did all of that coming off a 24-hour shift at his firefighting job. So great job there, Mr. Copeland, young man. I think he's 24 years old, uh, doing a lot in one, in one week. <laughs> that is the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bottom to the 5, Omar Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polenski now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. And then balls out. Balls out. And they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Garrett Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cooty on the Huskers Radio Network. Good evening. Welcome to our Wednesday edition of Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network. Hope you had a great day today. Beautiful outside right now. All the guys working on the Go Big project of Called it a day. They packed up, left over there, uh, getting more steel, getting some more siding up along the side of the building. It is, folks, can't wait for you to get here in early September for that first football game and walk around. It's going to look spectacular yeah. in about two more months. For those that haven't been here on campus since last fall, that's going to be shocking for people to see. Dramatic. Because it difference. is a massive structure, and they are making progress every single day. And so, for it to go from what it was in the fall where there really wasn't much. I mean, like, there was, but not compared to what it is now. It's, it's going to be massive. shocking for some people. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I mean, I'm one of those ones, I, I've said this before, that I've got to see it to understand it. So you can give me all those dimensions, but I'm not going to understand how big it is until it's actually in place. And, yeah, I agree. It's 
absolutely massive. It's for for folks who understand building and issues, and I don't. It's over three hundred thousand square feet. That, that's gigantic. I didn't realize how tall it was going to be. You know, I thought yeah. it was going to be wider because it's taken up basically the whole track that yeah. used to be there. Yeah. But the, but then it goes up high too. So it's like I I just thought it was going to be wide and you know all that area, but it is tall too. And you know every coach and every sport on campus is now able to really use that as a recruiting tool because it's going to be open in 13 months. So yeah. any, any athlete they're recruiting right now is going to be gonna, able to utilize that. Yep. Going to be huge. Going to be huge. Well, we got um, the NBA is off another night tonight, so we thought we would talk a little basketball with you tonight. Just got a chance to catch up with a new assistant coach for Amy Williams, Jessica Keller. We'll have that conversation for you a little bit later on here in this hour. And Fred Hoiberg's last commit to this class, last addition to this class out of the transfer portal, Emmanuel Bandumel, who is from SMU, is now on campus, and you caught up with him today, and I can't wait to hear from him in hour And he two. is very, very impressive. I texted you guys in our group text that he's O'Shawn Mathis impressive level wow. when I was done interviewing him. I mean, he's, again, one of those players that is coming in, has experience, um, has, you know, been around the block a time or two dealing with all the media and, and um, has been successful and has goals in mind. And, and, you know, it's just so different when you talk to someone that um, is coming in as a transfer with a guy that, that has that kind of experience. And so he, he's absolutely, you can tell he's going to be a leader. He's going to be a guy that um, people are going to follow and Husker fans are going to love him. We well, can't wait to hear from him. That'll be coming up in hour number two tonight. And again, he's here. He had to go through some testing. He's been cleared. Both the men and women have been working out together for about two weeks. Now. Listen to this. He didn't come here on a visit. Just and sight he unseen. just moved here yesterday. Wow. So he is just here yesterday for the first time ever and committed to play here over because of conversations that he had with his coaching staff. You know, that wasn't too uncommon two years ago at COVID, but now that everything's opened back up and you can travel and be on campus and stuff, it's going to be really rare to have an instance like that. And he was a guy that a lot of people wanted. You know, he was a guy that was, you know, a, a highly ranked uh, portal edition that a lot of people he could have helped a lot of people because you all always can use an experienced guard yeah. and as uh, coach Hoiberg said about him he's he's a really good defender and you're going to hear him talk about that Emmanuel talk about that about why that's important to him and uh, dive into that a little bit but you know he's a good defender he's physical so you look at the the guys that they brought in guys that are not afraid to get in there and be physical in this league I think that it was kind of what was missing maybe a little bit from this team and so and they, all from winning programs too yeah Yes. North Dakota yep. State, Alabama, SMU all had really good seasons last year. Yep. And so I, I just, um, and I think they just are on a mission. And it's, it's so crazy how similar it is to some of the players that we're talking to from the football program that have transferred in. I mean, there's a lot of similar messaging and, and feeling about, you know, wanting to come here and, and make a change and make an impact. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's really impressive. And so, um, I can't wait for you guys to hear that conversation. Looking forward to that. That'll be at the top of hour number two. So plug it in. Get ready to listen to us at the top of hour number two. Also in hour, hour number two, Kyle Peters, one of our favorites from ESPN. He'll have the call of most of the College World Series games starting Friday. He'll break down the field for us. We'll get his thoughts about these eight teams that have come. I always like different teams that get here. 20 years since Notre Dame has been here. 12 for Oklahoma to have been here. A&M has been here more recently. Obviously, Texas has been here by far the most, and it's not even close to the number of appearances of the Longhorns. Stanford's back. Auburn was here a couple of years ago. They hadn't been here a long time before that, but they're making their second appearance in the last four years. And Ole Miss has been a, a program that's been here before. But I like the newbies coming back and getting here. And it's a lot of um, fan bases that seems like they're going to travel well, too. I, I think so. You yeah. know, there, there are sometimes there are teams that come in, and even in Oklahoma City, that they don't travel well. I, I mean, they said Northwestern's group that went down to Oklahoma City weren't necessarily big, but they were loud. But, you know, just cer certain programs don't necessarily travel the, the fans in the way that other programs do. But, you know, Texas A&M is going to travel. Arkansas. You know, Arkansas, Texas, Notre Dame, um, all these programs. I don't know about Stanford, how well they travel. But I know they Oklahoma won't. is getting a huge group coming up here. And there's Irish fans all over the country. Yes. Yeah, that's that's another, you know, nationwide brand right. that right. people are going to come in. So I I think it's it's going to be fun to see that 
there's going to be a lot of different fan bases that travel well, in addition to the fans that just go because of the event. Going to be fun. So Kyle will break it down for us coming up in the second hour of the program. Tim, come over here. Oh. I want Tim's take because we got game one of the cup finals tonight. Denver, the folks are out there getting fired up and ready. The Avs are going to try to derail the Lightning who've won back-to-back -back cups. Yeah. Yeah, and we did get a request for a Stanley Cup breakdown. So yeah, uh, these just, are the two. These two yes. teams have been great in the these playoffs. These are the two best teams in hockey, and I know I've I my bracket for hockey was spoiled almost immediately. But uh, I was hoping to see upsets, and there weren't a ton. So it was it, these are the two best teams. I think if you look at the Colorado for the last two years has really been arguably the most talented team, and then Tampa is the most consistent, and they are incredibly well versed in big games, big moments, and. The greatest strength they have is their team defense and their goaltending are Elite. unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. And it's that's the numbers for their goalie Andre Vasilevsky in elimination games are historic. He saves over 99 percent. That's not a that's not that's not an exaggeration. I think it's a 99.1 percent of his uh, shots on goal he stops, which is in elimination games in the postseason over the last two years. So. To, it, to me, it seems like the Avs have been have had more offense in the playoffs. Now, yes. that may be because they haven't played as elite of goaltending right, as exactly. the Lightning did in exactly. the other half. They got a, a little bit fortunate. Um, a lot of it is is because they are the most dominant offense in hockey, but it is they ran into a very favorable run of injuries to the opponents that they were playing. So a lot of the teams they played either had goalies who were hurt or goalies that are just average. And there's a lot of debates you can get into about how you build a hockey team um, and goalie some teams love having their stud goalie a lot of teams think if everybody else is good the goalie can be elevated um, to a higher level and the uh, abs just destroyed everybody who, who who wasn't a top tier goalie and they they did get a little lucky but a lot of it is genuine so this is kind of a great matchup of the best offense versus the best consistent defense and goaltending in the league so it is it's one of those debates you see in football you see in other sports we see when Andrew's talking about the NBA Finals with great offense it's, uh, with the Warriors and great defense with the Celtics. It's similar. So what is it? The immovable object? Yeah. Yeah. And and something's got to give. Yeah. Uh, something Irresistible force. force. Yeah. 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 So what's your prediction then? I, I hate to say it because one of my best friends is a huge Tampa fan, and he's been trash-talking for over two years now, but I think Tampa's going to do it. I um, do too. I'm, I'm pulling it off. And I'm, how many? I think, I, think it'll take, I think it'll take at least six. I'd, I'd be tempted to say seven, but once you get to that elimination stage... Again, Vasilevsky, the goalie for Tampa, is... He's and that would be a three-peat, which so is I think so six. rare in pro sports, yep. to three-peat something. Yep. I think the last time in hockey was the 80s. Islanders. The oh, the, oh, that's right. The, oh, it yeah, was the, the Islanders. Islanders. Yeah, in the so, early 80s. And, and, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's remarkable to do. I want the Avs yeah. to win. I'm Me pulling too. for the Avs. But real, and I'm a realism. Yeah. I'm a realist. It's yeah. going to be the Lightning in well, six. And, and it's, you know, you look at the star power of Colorado. They have arguably the best player not named Connor McDavid, who he... They beat in the previous yep. round, um, and Nathan McKinnon, and the best defenseman in Kale McCarr, who's unbelievable. But Tampa is just it, steady. Everywhere. And here's what's remarkable: the Rangers had them on the ropes. They did. They're up 2-0. Well, They're leading in Game Three. They yep. can't finish Game yep. Three, and they crack the door. And here came yep. the champs. As soon as you let them off the mat, that's Tampa. They have no lack. There's no. You can't fluster them because they they don't doubt anything. Their confidence is unparalleled in the sport and they're just they expect to win every single time and and they're not afraid of anybody and that's why i think just like the rangers if if colorado gets off to a fast start they just got to keep coming because it's it, it, it just like we saw with with new york they had them on the ropes and the minute they let off the gas it was over it was <laughs> listen over. i'm not a hockey person yeah. but i'm gonna go with the abs and jeremiah's abs I and i bet right. andrew you with me Andrew yep. is a Rangers Clapping. guy. Yeah, but they, now you know he how he just revenge. jumps on different bandwagons, you know. That's so he's with he me in the abs. He's so abs. two versus two over here. Okay. Well, no, I, I'm pulling for yeah, the abs. Too. I want the I abs to win, want but I'm just to... saying they're and, not the better team. But. And they'll be, they'll still be relevant, but they got a lot of contracts coming up in free agency. Um, you know, not a lot of cap space. They got to pay McKinnon and McCarr and everybody. So it's they're kind of there's urgency there. Um, but I don't know if it's, I just don't think it's gonna be enough. I think Tampa's just they're too locked in. They're too good. You can't get it by the goal. You can't get it through the pipes yep. against them. Yep. It's hard and to score. Vasilevsky is, is unreal. They are the Patriots of the Brady era. Yeah. Patriots, if you want to make a football comparison. And now you got Brady in Tampa. Yep. yep. Exactly. That's why they they were the city of champions what two right. years ago, and yeah. they're gonna who knows. And the Rays were even good. Yep. In baseball, they're always relevant. So. <laughs>
<laughs> that drives me crazy. Fun One city, city can corner all these pro markets. And it's, you know what, and I'll make this real quick, but uh, the Tampa has, because there's no income tax down there in Florida, and hockey especially, that is huge because hockey salaries are the lowest of the big four sports, but they guarantee the entire contract. It's always guaranteed, every cent. So they are, uh, uh, it's a huge boon for Florida teams because they can say, hey, come here, you'll make $4 million with us, where if you go up in New York and you sign for $6 million, you're still making $4 million, or, you know, I'm exaggerating yeah. for effect, yeah. but so roughly that's their argument. And when they're competitive, like they and the Florida Panthers are. Same thing guys. in Texas. I was going to yep. say, but Texas their teams well. aren't dominant. Uh, no. Not in hockey, no. No, the uh, Stars have not, not been. In, Dallas has not, not been. in the NBA Arizona, in a while either. Arizona has the yep. Coyotes, and they've been, and they've been the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but you have, to, you have to establish that reputation as a winner first. And then yeah. as soon as you do that and you have that type of a, a salary Sell, incentive, yeah. there it is. And they've been really – they have great management, great coaching. I mean, that, that all is a huge draw. So, um, yeah, Tampa – I mean, again, I'm, I'm with you guys. I, I hope Colorado can pull it off because they're a fun team and they, you know, they have a lot of good players that need – deserve a cup. And that team's going to get changed a little bit after this season. So – um, I'm rooting for them, but again, the goaltending matchup is so heavy in favor of Tampa. It's just, and in the playoffs, that does matter. So we'll see. Good. All right. Puck drops at seven. <laughs> Nicely done, hockey guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what crypto is calling you. Yeah. Tim's the hockey king. I'll take so it. I'll take there, it. There you go. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Again, game one, seven o'clock tonight. Our Sports Highly Hotline open and available for you at 402 413 2400. You can also fire off a text if that is your preferred mode of communication. It's brought to you again by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. When we come back, we'll hear about the newest addition to Amy Williams' staff, Jessica Keller. Now as a member of her staff, we'll get into that conversation next. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Momentum. It's building at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln with game-changing work in precision agriculture, nanoscience, and digital humanities. We're unlocking mysteries in brain research, solving the impossible with remote surgery using robots, and we're creating bold futures with world-leading research in early childhood education. We don't slow down, and we're not letting up. We are Nebraska. Hey Huskers fans, this Friday join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 Bronco Sport is built wild for the thrill seeker, the sightseer, and the day tripper. A capable and dependable SUV that's ready to tackle the dirt, dust, and mud. Bronco Sport offers four models to match the way you explore the outdoors. Shop, finance, and buy your way. Online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmouth. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. 
In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsay Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory-installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best-in-class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Nebraska Equipment in Seward or Grand Kubota in Grand Island. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. We're inside of our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier, John Deere Dieter, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Wednesday night. We're getting calls and texts and people raving about Tim calling, breaking down the hockey for us. We need to make that a regular we segment. Have, we have a fan club. I Tim's know. Tim's fan club. Uh He's up with the hockey guy, and because he makes up for my lack of knowledge, because <laughs> he knows it and gets it and studies it, and I do not. So appreciate that. Dennis says, "Lightning in five, experience will win the Stanley Cup." Do you think Joe Sakic, former Avalanche player, will help Colorado players along? Yeah, possibly. Uh, but I, I think it's six. I think the Avs are good enough to win two. But I've been impressed. There's plenty of hockey fans oh, that yeah. are listening in. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a little road trip next winter and go see UNO play. That'd be we fun. have a special guest that's gonna be coming up on the show, uh, Rucker, who is from from here. Yeah, that grew up in the um, ice box, and his you know dad was the coach of the Stars. He's projected to be the um, highest drafted uh, player ever in the NHL. That's a Nebraska native, and he's got a really cool story. We we did a long conversation with him a couple of days ago. Tim. Tim lined up. Good. So nice. we'll be bringing that to you closer to the draft uh, in that first week of July. So um, he was great. Uh, fascinating story. And I think even if you're not a hockey fan, like for me, it was really cool to hear his perspective of how b growing up in Nebraska, even despite it not being a hockey hotbed, how it shaped him into the person and player that he is today. Very cool. Look forward to that. Also, Husker women's basketball announced a week or so ago that they have filled out their staff, Amy Williams, with a hire of Jessica Keller, and you were able to catch up with her. Yeah, it's crazy over there at Devaney right now because they've got camps. all kinds of camps. So there's, you know, little girls of all ages running around doing TikToks. Andrew, I had to stop him from jumping in on doing any of the TikToks over there. But it's it's cool that they, they do that because, I mean, you think about uh, an Alexis Markowski or an Allison Widener, you know, some of these Nebraska girls, went to these camps Trinity. when they were younger and little. So you never know the type of young girls that you might inspire, you might see at these camps. But yeah, so she dove right in. She's all about, been all in on camp and uh, got a chance to chat with her. There was a lunch break in between uh, the session. We got a chance to, to chat with Jessica Keller and, and get to know her a little bit today.
Well, welcome to Lincoln. How's it going? You settled in yet? I am getting settled in. I, I have some temporary housing right now, and um, but I've been welcomed by everyone here. What's the process been like? I mean, just diving right in. I know you guys have camps. I'm sure you're already recruiting. What, what's it been like so far? Yeah, it's been it's been crazy. It's gone quickly. Um, we started with workouts, so I got here the day that workout started with our team, with the Husker team, and we started camps at the end of the week. So it's been busy full days, but uh, so rewarding already. So can you take me back through the process of the conversations with, with Coach Williams of you know, filling this role and, and why you thought it was a good move for you. Sure. I uh, I had a, an opportunity to, I've actually known Coach Williams for, mm -hmm. for almost 10 years. I worked for her sister um, 10 years ago at Minnesota State. Um, so I've been familiar with her staff uh, throughout the, you know, even in their transition to Nebraska. And um, when there was a, an opportunity, Coach Williams reached out and and we had a, a really great conversation on the phone and then I got to come to campus and, and meet everyone here at the university and um, it was a no-brainer when she offered me the job. Obviously the, the culture is such a big thing here with players and, and staff that she brings in but how much what was your perspective on that coming in and, and being a part of that culture? Yeah it's it's so sound it's so strong that um, I was honored just to be able to jump right in and they've welcomed me as you you know that that they do so well um, they've welcomed me right away and I just I feel very fortunate that I'm going to be able to learn from everyone here and also hopefully contribute. She called you a great teacher of the game. Uh, why is that uh, so important to you to, to teach the game? Yeah, that's a huge compliment. I, uh, I grew up a daughter of two educators, and so I always wanted to be a teacher. Um, my parents did not want me to teach school education, so I get to teach basketball. Um, but, you know, I think it's it's so important that we can empower each one of our young women to, to be successful, and sometimes it's just finding exactly what wording or what terminology clicks for them. So no education, not being an educator, how'd you get into coaching? What, what drew you to this profession? Yeah, I actually majored in business, accounting and finance, and um, I went to graduate school and got my MBA, but I just couldn't step away. And everyone, I was fortunate to play for incredible coaches who mentored me and, and told me that I should go into coaching. And then uh, I kind of, I was given a ton of opportunities by coaches that hired me along the way. And um, had, I, I could never think of being anywhere else, doing anything else. You left your college program, I was really impressed by this, as the career leader in both steals and points. That normally doesn't happen. Normally it's one or the other. <laughs> so how did you be? How did you become where you are good on the defensive end and, and can uh, cause turnovers but then also score a bunch too? Yeah. I don't know if I was good on the defensive <laughs> end. I took a lot of risks. Um, and I had great teammates around me that when I didn't get that steal that they were always picking up for me. So I don't know if they would say I was the best defender, but I think I was able to anticipate. I kind of I studied the game a lot, and I think that really helped me just anticipate sometimes but like I said I probably a little risky for some of the rewards <laughs> but I'm um, really fortunate to just play with unbelievable teammates. That being said though you've been a part of staffs that have produced great defensive teams. What's your philosophy on that and playing good defense? Yeah you know it's, it's just really something that I take a lot of pride in and in, in stopping the opponent and so whatever you know type of scheming that, that we want to do uh, again I try to study the other team the opponent as much and try to frustrate them and um, you know a lot of times it's a really detail-oriented approach that I know coach Williams is huge on too so really really fortunate to, to get to join that. Everywhere that you know you've been, people, coaches that have you've worked for have talked about how you were an all-around coach. It's not just about basketball; it's about in the classroom too. I know you were a great student too. Why is that important for you to to implement that too? Sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, at some point the ball stops bouncing for everyone, and we've got to go on and do something else. And so it is really important to me that all of our student athletes are well-rounded and that we're prepared for whatever we're going to do to to provide for the society that we're in after basketball stops. So it's got to be nice and to. to see what Nebraska provides in, in the classroom front of things and the academics and it's so important to everybody really all around this program. Yeah, that's again, I, I think the values that Nebraska and Nebraska women's basketball hold fit, you know, very directly with mine. And so I'm really excited. I, I know I haven't had a chance to get all the way across campus yet and see everything, but um, just being able to talk to some of the players about their experience has, has been very rewarding so far. People always want to know about recruiting. Uh, what's your take on that and your approach on recruiting and bringing players into a program? Yeah, I'm super competitive. And so I, I'm competitive on the recruiting front, too. I think, um, you know, obviously identifying talent and the right talent and the, and the 
players that fit our system and our style and our values um, is the most important thing to begin with. But then building those relationships and making sure that the players that we identify that could be great Husker women's players feel like they have a connection with each of us and, and that we can communicate and then obviously empower them, but we're going to challenge them. And so uh, throughout the recruiting process, I try to do my best to get to know not just the player, but their family, their friends, who's helping make decisions in their lives, who's important, who their support systems are, and then make sure that they're comfortable enough that when they make a decision, they know everything that, that Nebraska can offer. I'd be interested to know, you know, when you take this job and before you start, what research, what prep you do before you start your first day? Yeah, um, a lot. <laughs> Just to be kind of have you know come in with with open open eyes and open mind. Um, I'm fortunate to again have no have you know, had a relationship with Coach Williams. And so um, I've been able to kind of talk a little bit with, with all of her staff members on the road while we're recruiting, um, working at different institutions. And then pre preparing to be here, I was able to get a hold of some film. And, and Logan Sizer, our video coordinator, has been unbelievable in the transition. And, and he's really helped acclimate me on the floor and, and get a good feel for how, you know, what are our principles offensively, defensively. And so um, I spent a lot of time watching film, watching some skill workouts, and uh, yeah, just trying to talk to the, the players and the coaches as, as much as possible. Being that, you know, a lot of players coming back from last year's special season, how excited does that make you to, to work with some of these young players? Yeah, incredibly excited. And I know we're still waiting on a couple of our players mm -hmm. to return, so I know I haven't even gotten the full taste of it, but it is, it's, I'm really, really fortunate. I know we, we're just, we're ready to take the next step. What, what is your approach? What is your goal over the next couple of weeks, couple of months before you get into preseason? Yeah, for me, it's just building those relationships with the players and, and letting them know that, uh, you know, I, I want to challenge them. I want to, to help them be better individual players and team players. But first and foremost, I, I care about them and I want to make sure that whatever their goals are academically, personally, professionally, that we're going to reach those together too. And how exciting does is or are you about the the support here for women's basketball? I mean, as someone that played the sport, coached for a long time, to see the the fan support that is here. I mean, top 15 in attendance year <laughs> in and year out. I mean, how special is that? Yeah, it's, it's incredibly special. And, and you know, I had a chance to talk with Amanda Hart, the director of operations, and and she's talked to me about the environment. And, and so I'm excited for game day. Um, obviously, a little nervous. I had we had the opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament this year and get a taste of kind of we played a Big Ten opponent and. Um, got a taste of what that feels like on the road a little bit, but I, I am so incredibly excited for what the environment is. And I think even with just my introduction, my announcement of the hiring, that it's been a, a really welcome, you know, crowd and a, in large numbers. Uh, you've been a coach before. How has it helped you be a as an assistant and add it to that role as an assistant on a staff? Yeah, great question. I think it's made me a better assistant. Um, I kind of know, you know, maybe at a, a lesser scale in a smaller environment, what Coach Williams is going through, kind of what decisions she's got to balance. And um, I think that's really helped me be better at having a little bit more foresight in what she may need and the support that she may need moving forward instead of kind of after something happens. How is uh, Amy, how does she compare to her sister? They They're similar? very different. They have uh, <laughs> similar mannerisms, uh, but very different so far. Are you a football fan? I am. So excited to watch some Husker football, I'm assuming. I am. I have never been to a Husker football game, and that's something I've heard. Even the players, um, Maddie Kroll, who's new here, is, has already been to more Husker games than me. So she's excited for me to experience my first Husker football game. We're excited to have you here. Thanks for spending some time with us, yeah, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing your journey here in Lincoln. Thank you. It was just a short conversation, and we talked to her a little bit before and after, but I know Coach Williams was looking for someone that fit this culture. The culture is right with Nebraska women's basketball, so it had to be the right fit that could come in and, and um, you know, mesh well with what they've got going on because there's a lot of positive things that are going around Nebraska women's basketball. So um, I, I trust Amy, and, and it seems like she's a hard worker and, um, you know, excited to be here. The things that Coach Williams looks for in her players, in her staff, Jessica Keller seems to bring every single day. I'm sure Amy trusts her sister, too. Yes. I mean, that's yeah. the connection. And, Absolutely. You know, a high recommendation from a family member. So good to have Jessica aboard the Husker train. Glad to have her here with us. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Our phone lines, text signs, open for you. Thoughts, 402-413-2400. We're back with more of the show coming up. 
Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset, day by day. Donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. Get us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today we're tackling the issue of GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. GMOs may sound scary, but they're actually benefiting our environment and consumers. That's because GMO crops help solve specific problems like insects, food waste, and droughts. By selecting good traits from one plant or organism and adding them to another, farmers are safely using science to produce high-quality foods better than ever before. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and Bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of Bayer plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. 
From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Mag and Cider Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Wednesday night, our hump day. want to remind you that they are still selling the customized Husker football three-game mini package that's on sale for $180 for a ticket. You get to pick a game from each month. In September, you can choose between North Dakota and Georgia Southern. In October, either Indiana or Illinois. November, Minnesota or Wisconsin. Whatever one of those games in those three months fit your plan, you can put them together. Seating will be located in the two end zones or south end zones. To do it, you can do it online. Visit huskers.com slash tickets. Again, 180 per ticket. Great chance for you to get in and see some Husker football. Maybe you, your schedule doesn't allow you to come to all seven games, so a season ticket doesn't make sense. Maybe it's not financially possible for you to do a season ticket plan. This is a perfect way for you to mix and match, fits your schedule for the fall. It's a pretty good uh, response on that since that got launched a couple of weeks ago. Again, huskers.com slash tickets for that. Good to hear from Jessica Keller. As, as Jessica Cootie said, there's a lot of camps going on, a lot of little ones running around over there at the Devaney Center. A lot of the sports have camps going on throughout the campus. Yeah, it was fun last week when there was a football internal football media camp. day or uh, media day here, and all the little kids were saw them in their uniforms and like, oh, like just <laughs> starstruck. I mean, it's just it's so cute. And I mean, yeah, I think there's like a soccer camp. Soccer or something. camps, volleyball all camps, of them yeah, going baseball on, so camps. That's fun. And again, that's a big part of it. One, it's a service. Two, the student athletes can now be compensated for working these camps. Before they weren't allowed to be even around it. Right. Now they are, which is another good move by the NCA. And I like to tip my cap to them every now and then because usually I'm bashing the <laughs> NCA. But I think it's a good rule to let current student athletes help out. That's who these campers want to come. They want to come meet some of their heroes that they see play or compete on a field or a pitch or whatever it may be. So glad that they are able to do that. It's, it is a busy time of year, even though there's, the campus is fairly light right now. And your park available for you out here. Yes, and I always remember, remember too, because I went to camps growing up. I got better when I came sure. to these types of camps, too. So it's a cool experience, but then it's also, you're getting great instruction, and I know a lot of the, the players really do have a heart of giving back and, and want to help mold for the future, and so it's, it's really neat to see. The next Friday night camp for football is this Friday. And again, this is another one that's open to the public. You can come out and watch the campers that are going to be here. You can uh, watch the Husker coaching staff work with these campers. That's kind of fun to see that. It's uh, from approximately 6 to 8. The gates are open at 5. Fans can enter through gate 3, which is on the south southwest corner of the stadium uh, so that that is coming up again on Friday night you sit on the west side the concession stands are not open so you can't come in and buy a Runza or a Val's pizza that's not available for that uh, so uh, you can bring in some limited food and, and non-alcoholic beverages so no teas for some of you people but you can bring in your water and it's gonna be hot Friday night so you're probably gonna want to bring some water with you because and even though the west side where they're going to let you sit will be in the shade, it's still they're talking about temperatures near 100 degrees on Friday. But come out, watch some uh, prospective new Huskers, and watch the Huskers coaches get after it. Yeah. Fun deal. And it seemed like yeah, there was a good turnout. And as we heard, um, you know, Vince talking about, it's important to for these campers or these guys that are coming in, these recruits, because they are going to keep having recruits every single weekend. So for them to see. Fans in the stands, even on a, a camp like that, is, is big for them to see. And Jessica, there's some momentum with Husker football recruiting right now. I believe they've got eight commitments for the 2023 class. Uh, that's pretty good in mid-June, and they may get another one or two this weekend with some young young men who are coming in to, to show off and to try to compete and try to get better themselves, but also make an impression on, on the Huskers. And, and as we had Vince in a few weeks ago, he said, 
We also, we, yeah, we have the camp going on. He says, we may have an official visit or two where those kids aren't on the field. They're up in a skybox and they're right. having dinner and they're being shown what Husker football is all about. So there may be some kids in town that aren't down on the field that are here on a visit. Well, yeah, and, and there are absolutely, you know, I was told that every single weekend for all of June, there are official visits that are in. So a lot of times, if, and, and he said that that's an NCAA rule. If you're here on an official visit, you cannot. Camp. participate in the camp so they won't be going through those drills but they'll be there and you know taking in the atmosphere and and watching coaches on the field and all of that so yeah absolutely and you know who are some of the best recruiters of the current players absolutely because they pair them up and they try to make sense of no oh, this guy's personality might fit well or maybe they're from the same region they have common knowledge of a certain town or whatever and so they try to do some of that well i think too just you know these players deep desire to want to win and you know do big things here and so even going back to when oshan came in and was saying how he was on the phone with casey thompson for three hours wow you know um and casey was answering all of his questions whatever he wanted to know and, and casey was doing his part to try to get oshan here and that's a defensive guy that that casey's trying to help bring in because you know i mean it takes an entire team and you need depth and you need those playmakers on both sides of the ball and so i think that's what you're also seeing in, in some of these players too is really diving in on on helping continuing to build for the future too so if you're looking for something to do on friday night there you go come on out and watch some of the camp do bring a bottle of water because it's going to be pretty warm uh, in lincoln on friday time to tell you to buckle up put the phone down it's a reminder from the ndot highway safety office uh, those highway patrol folks were so busy last night there was so much severe weather up and down i-80 right along the interstate all the way from cardi through up to omaha so i know the troopers were out being busy last night and they appreciate you folks slowing down for them during the, the bad weather that ripped through the area last night phone lines text lines open for you 402-413-2400 we're back to wrap up hour one next in america the future belongs to everyone so we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm my day. I'm 2 by 2 We're three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds, so we got to talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With my day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2 by 2 has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1, $1 per play, play with, with drawings, drawings every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare. We should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19, please play responsibly. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help us with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. J.D. Power ranked Shelter Insurance number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region and number one in price. See Agent Terry Dingwell in Fremont, Katie Bargman in Columbus, or Janelle Moore in Holdridge. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal, it's a mindset. 
shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question or fire off a text. You can do that on our Sports Highly Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brand, 16 convenient location, simplified car buying. To save you time, shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. A couple of Big Ten baseball notes for you. A couple of form, former Huskers now have landed in different schools. Leighton Banjoff, who entered the portal a couple of weeks ago, is going back to his home state of Ohio. He's going to play at Bowling Green. And Jack Style, who is from the Twin Cities, is going to go play for North Dakota State. So those two former Huskers have landed. Eric Backage, who did a terrific job at Michigan, hired by Clemson to take over their program. Backage steered the Wolverines to the college baseball final a couple of years ago up in Omaha. And got Won the Big Ten tournament a few weeks ago, did Backage and the Wolverines. So he's out. So the Michigan Wolverines now looking for a new head coach. And Ohio State has filled their vacancy. They have hired TCU assistant Bill Masilo. Masilo will now be the new Buckeyes head coach. So some a lot of movement, a lot of, lot of head coaching hires in college baseball. I think there were six of them today uh, just ahead of the College World Series, which gets going in two days. So backage out at Michigan. Selfishly, you kind of go, that's okay. He <laughs> ran a great job at that program. We can't get him out. Maybe, maybe not. they won't be as good without him. Who do you think they'll go after now? You think they'll I go after know. a big head coach or an probably, assistant coach? I think they've got some money to play with, so they'll probably yeah. go be aggressive with somebody. But he was really good there, so I don't mind really good coaches leaving the league. Get him out. Help us out a little bit here. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Ne- next hour, we are going to hear from... The newest Husker for Fred Hoiberg, Emmanuel Bandumel, who is from SMU, played last year with the Ponies. They had a really good team that made the NIT, and now he's officially in Lincoln. Just got here yesterday. Yeah, I was going to say, in the last 48 hours. Yeah, he just got here and had never even been here before. But Wow. Yeah, that's uh, I still am flabbergasted by that, that kids made decisions even during COVID without being on campus and seeing it and and you he know, had to be impressed. And to with... me, that it, there was already starting to be a shift in, you know, the way that players were committing to coaches. But I think that even probably accelerated it a little bit more because it was. I mean, you basically were just picking schools and and your future based on these connections that you're making with coaches over Zoom because you can't actually see what you're. You know, we can't see the places that you're going to be playing at, the fan base, all of that. It took even a year here in the Big Ten to even get for recruits to be able to come in and see what a fan base is all about. It was last June 1st, so 12 months ago, where they kind of opened back up recruiting to, that you could have student-athletes come on campus and take a visit. So we were shut down that long during the pandemic. Glad that it's happened. And I got to imagine Emmanuel's walking around if he's over at the Hendricks or over here going, that's pretty nice. Yeah, he um, he seems to be re- really liking it so far. And, um, I mean, again, just a, a mature guy that's played a lot of ball, that is really talented, a uh, good leader, does a lot of things right. And so I think we'll be a really, really nice addition for, for Fred Hoiberg. Looking forward to hearing from him coming up in the next hour. Our Sports Highly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient location simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. U.S. Open golf tomorrow. You got a, you got a pick? You got a favorite in this thing? I think one of the live golfers are going to win it. Boy, that'll light everybody up. Let's just add to the drama. There's Throw some gasoline on the flame. I kind of feel like it might be somebody that's a little off the radar a little bit. That isn't caught up at all. Yeah, or just, you know, not even a top 10 player that somebody, it's a good player, but not, like a few years ago, Gary Woodland, who I've known Gary for years, won the U.S. Open out of Pebble. Somebody like that, good, solid player, but not one of the top 15, 20 players. It's kind of where golf is now. You never know who could win. It used to be you could pick and probably guarantee one of those guys are going to win it, but not that way anymore. So many good players. Mm -hmm. So many good players. It all starts early tomorrow back in Beantown. We're back with another hour next. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. 
For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he's so hot. The air conditioning is out again. But wait, he sees an opening. SOS. SOS, he screams and calls 391-2336. SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer. Boy, he made the right call today as SOS is already on the way. SOS is your trustworthy company since 1950, and with Luxair, you get free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call 391-2336 or visit SOSHVAC.com today.
And welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelpt, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Happy Wednesday, Huskers fans. We have another great hour ahead for you. We'll hear from new Huskers men's hoops guard Emmanuel Bandamel and College World Series expert Kyle Peterson in the hour. Pro sports this evening in the MLB. Lots of games in action currently. The Yankees up on the Rays, 1 0 in the fourth. The Braves lead the Nationals, 1 0 in the third. It's 5 0. Blue Jays jumping all, all, all over the Orioles in the third inning. That's going into the fourth. The Brewers lead the Mets, 2 0 in the third. The Red Sox up on the A's early, 3 0 in the third. And the bottom of the first, Pirates, after nearly being no hit yesterday. Uh, get two runs on the board, in, and they lead now 2 nothing in the bottom of the first. Earlier finals from today's action, 3-1. to one, The Phillies topped the, Mar- uh, the Marlins. The White Sox blasted the Tigers 13 to nothing. The Astros took down the Rangers 9-2. The Diamondbacks beat the Reds 7-4. The Royals topped the Giants 3-2. And the Twins shut out the Mariners 5 to nothing. Later tonight, in actually just a few moments, we'll see the Padres uh, square off against the Cubs. At 7.40, the Guardians will take on the Rockies. And at 9.10, the Battle of L.A., the Angels take on the Dodgers. The NHL Stanley Cup Finals are also just about set to get underway tonight as the Colorado Avalanche host the back-to-back defending champion Tampa Bay Lightning at 7 p.m. I misspoke earlier in the first hour. The Avs will be attempting to win their third cup in franchise history while Tampa attempts to achieve a three-peat in the series that starts tonight. In the NFL today, producer Andrew and I are celebrating as our Pittsburgh Steelers announced a four-year contract extension to the two-time All-Pro safety Minka Fitzpatrick who will be paid an average annually of $18.84 million. Uh, over the course of the new extension, making him the highest paid safety in NFL history. Also breaking in the last hour, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has agreed to testify in the U- or to the U.S. House Committee of Oversight next Wednesday, June 22nd, with regard to the NFL's investigation into allegations of a hostile workplace made against the Washington Commanders. The owner of the Washington Commanders, Dan Snyder, has refused to testify before the same committee. And while the NBA is off tonight before game six of the finals tomorrow, a pro basketball story that deserves a lot of attention. Miles Copeland, a basketball player in the professional startup league called the Basketball League, saved referee John Scully's life after the ref collapsed from a heart attack during a playoff game this past weekend. This was all over ESPN today. After Scully collapsed, Copeland, who's a firefighter when not playing basketball, administered CPR until paramedics arrived, saving Scully's life top it off the game resumed after the referee was taken to the hospital and copeland helped his team come back and win that game they then won the series on sunday night and are now heading to the semifinals in their league this thursday copeland did all of that coming off a 24-hour shift at his firefighting job so good job there miles all the best to him and his team and of course the referee in recovery that's the ticker i'm tim mulhelped and this is sports nightly on the huskers radio network Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a point of to the 5, one more, Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polensky now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. Another sack, balls out. Balls out, and they still loose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Here we are back, hour number two of our Wednesday night shows. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with us here on a Wednesday night. We are honored and privileged that you are, have chosen to dial us up. We we'll hope we keep you entertained here in the next 60 minutes. Going to keep our eye on some hockey. They're about ready to drop the puck for game one of the Stanley Cup finals out in Denver tonight. I know a lot of our, our affiliates out of the panhandle probably have some Avs fans out there that uh, zip into Denver and 
and uh, go watch a couple of Avs games a year. I'm sure you're fired up and ready for that tonight. Going to talk some Husker hoops. Going to talk some college baseball. The World Series gets underway in just two days up in Omaha, and the thermometer is going to get cranked up. They're talking about 100-degree temperatures for four of the first five days of the CWS. So people are going to be scorched uh, there. Kyle Peterson is going to give us a breakdown of the eight teams that have made it to Omaha for this year's CWS. But let's talk some hoops tonight. Emmanuel Bandumel, who is going to be a senior, played at SMU the last couple of years. He's from Canada, is now on campus. He's here, and you caught up with him today. Yeah, he literally just arrived, and then today had to go through all of the testing to be able to practice. I think he'll be able to get out on the court tomorrow or the next day, um, but it's a, it's a process, and even Amy Williams had said, Maddie Kroll said that about, you know, wow, there's a lot you got to do to, to be able to play. A lot of things you got to, um, big process, but um, he, so he's going through all of that, um, but he's excited to be here, and and um, got a chance to chat with him in between uh, checking off some of the things on his to-do list. All right, well, you just got here yesterday. First time to Nebraska. How does it feel to be here? Uh, great, great. It just feels a little bit like home, a little bit like Texas. I mean, the weather is pretty hot, you know, 106 degrees yesterday. So it was just like, you know, it feels a little bit like home, feels a little bit like Texas. It's green everywhere. So I just, it just feels great to be here. You picked Nebraska sight unseen. This is the first time you're stepping foot in this state to play basketball here. So why Nebraska? Uh, I mean, it's just like, you know, the people around here, like the coaching staff and, you know, like just the culture that they got going on here. And especially with the, the guys that they brought in, I was just like, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of, like, you know, a big change that can, that can happen here with the Oscar family. And I was just like, let's, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen here. Yeah. So tell me about your decision to go into the transfer portal and, and uh, you know, go back through this recruiting process again. Uh, just the coaching staff change that happened at SMU at Southern Methodist University. You know, the whole staff that recruited me back there, uh, Coach Jenk and all them people, it, they were just like everybody was leaving. And with Coach Lanier, that's the new coach right now at SMU, it was a good situation for me, but at the same time, I was looking at Might as well try something different with, like, a different, like, I already got, like, a different coaching staff, so I might as well try something else, like, you know, elsewhere, and that's why I picked Nebraska. So when Nebraska comes into the picture, how does that evolve for you that, you know, you, you find Nebraska and you think, oh, this might be a good spot for me? I mean, just as a uh, coach Horberg, like, you know, he he literally was on us from the get go. Like we did a Zoom call together. We had like pretty much a, like a lot of calls. Co the same thing with Coach Howard, uh, and it just felt great. Like it was like you know a refreshing calls out with them, and you know to see like what they had going on. You know like offensive wide, like in basketball concepts and all that stuff. And thinking about the fact that he also had like a great relationship and with like people in the NBA where I want to go eventually. It's just like I was just like well everything's adding up. So my <laughs> so it was just a great situation for me to come here. Being that you've played a lot of successful basketball already at this level, what was his message to you? What did he want you to bring and add to this team? I mean, obviously, he knows I'm a big, big on defense. I pride myself on being a, a good defender, a pretty good defender, looking, locking up guys on the court. But also, he, he, he saw, like, something that other people you know, other coaches didn't see is like my feel for the game. And he said, like, let's develop on that. Let's develop on your offensive game and bring, like, you know, bring you to the next level. And, you know, he's, he just, he just know that I got, like, I'm a shot maker. Like, I got shot making capabilities and stuff like that. But it, it was really much being coming in there and being a leader for the team. Yeah, he had mentioned that you can guard a lot of different pos positions. How did you get to that point where you could match up with a bunch of different players on the court? It's just the mentality, I think. I mean, also, my like you know, I'm physically, I'm kind of, I got long arms. I'm, I got pretty good size for a guard, and I can't stand my ground, kind of, kind of good. So it's like you know, it's the the only thing really just mentally, like you know, it's just it's just me, like you know, being a proud defender and you know making sure that nobody gets no easy buckets on on our hand. And I just think like you know that's what really helping me, and like you know, kind of putting me apart from like you know uh, other players on the court. I love it, and Husker fans will love to hear that too. Uh, your shooting ability too. You know, he talked about that, and I know you, you shoot the ball really well too. So as a shooter coming into an offense uh, like Fred Hoiberg's, that's got to be really exciting as well. Yeah, really exciting. And I know with the group that we got, it's just about like moving the ball, and everybody gets you know gets to like touch the ball and be involved in the offense. It's just like something that you know, for me, pure basketball as I call it, is just something big for me, and that's exactly how the uh, you know Nebraska plays. And I was just looking at the fan. I was my 
my eyes was just like big and hoping. I was like, well, I can see myself doing that in that offense. I can see, you know, being involved and in, like getting an assist to like a teammate so he can make uh, knock down shots. It was just like, it was just looking great. Yeah. Love that. Um, what about playing in the Big Ten, one of the best big uh, basketball conferences in the country? How exciting was that challenge for you? Really exciting. You know, coming from the AAC, the American Conference, you know, it's, just, it's a pretty good change. But at the same time, we had like kind of that caliber with like Houston, Memphis, mm -hmm. which does up there, Cincinnati, that same kind of physicality. So I was like, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a big change. But at the same time, it's like something that I've seen too in a way. So it's just like, you know, being able to compete at that level, I just want to see where my level is at and where I'm standing at with, the, uh, with those uh, teams in, the, in the, the Big Ten. From Canada, when did you first have a dream to play Division One basketball in America and then potentially go to the NBA? Uh, I, it started pretty young because I started playing when I was five years old. Wow. Yeah, basically my brother gave me that love for basketball whenever I, when I was that uh, really that tall. And at first I, I was looking at the NBA and I remember me to, uh, we were watching the Raptors whenever Vince Carter was playing was still over there with his uh, cousin Tracy McGrady. And I remember telling my, uh, my mom, I was like, mommy, that's what I want to, that's what I want to be. That's what I want to uh, play at. I want you to see me uh, on television and all. And then that's where I like kind of, you know, had that big dream of like playing the NBA. And whenever I got to high school and, you know, I started being pretty good at it. Uh, that's where I seen, okay, I really got a shot at this. I might have a pretty good shot at this. And then I was like, you know, let's make it to the NCAA, take it step by step, and then, yeah, here we are today. Very cool. What about Delano Banton, seeing him getting drafted by the Raptors a year ago? Actually cool, because, like, he's, you know, he's from, he's from the, out there, you know, it's this country. He's from, like, really Toronto. So just him, like, being, like, literally, he was, like, it's kind of, like, a great feeling to like you know you going home and you actually can't play in front of your family they come into the game you can't bring your friends and all of that so it's, i know it's, yeah, it had to be a great feeling for us so i just felt like you know it's it's pretty cool and i would it'll be cool to be in this shoes too like i was just thinking about it i was like it's just you know and then in, in those moments you just like appreciate it about that you know what's your approach now you just got here you literally just got here and i know summer workouts are full underway how do you go about getting you know embedded with this team and, and building that chemistry uh one day at a time, one step at a time, you know, there's a lot of new stuff that I got to, like, you know, take in. So it's all about, like, taking everything in. Obviously, I want to be a leader for the team, but at the same time, you know, it's like a day-by-day -day thing. I can't just come in and barge in and something that's already flowing and going on. So I'm just about, like, going with the flow, making my way in, making sure that I communicate with all the guys that they show me, like, you know, the ways and all of that because I'm, I'm new here, obviously. So it's all about, you know, communicating with the team and making sure that we all flow in and, you know, bonding with each other. Being that you've done this a few years now in the summer, what does a team need to do in the summer to have success when you the season rolls around? I mean, just chatting, just being on the same page, you know, like, I, that's one thing that we did at SMU, especially last year, because we had a, lo a lot of new recruits and, you know, transfers and all of that. It's just about, like, bounding and making sure that we all on the same page, making sure that we know each other's game. Uh, I mean, I don't know if they do that here, but I'm pretty sure they do. It's like we played a lot of pickup with, like, alumni and, like, you know, pro, uh, pro players. And, you know, it's all this stuff that, you know, we get to, like, being competitive on the court. I think that's something that helps really, like, to bond together and really see, like, you know, who's matching, who's in energy and stuff like that, who, who you can get on, who you kind of like, you know, be a little like, you know, a little, little bit more careful about when you say stuff. It's just about like, you know, being, get, a get a feel of each other and, you know, get going at the same, at the same time, you know, and that we all on the same page. Yeah. So Husker fans are diehard. I'm sure you've already uh, got a feel for that already. Yeah. What do they need to know about you? What, what are you going to bring to the court? Uh, energy, a lot of energy. Y'all gonna see me smiling and all on the court just because I love playing basketball. That's my thing. I really love being out there on the court. But yeah, bringing energy, sacrificing my body for the team, making sure that we, every time I step on the court, I step on it to be a winner. And I'll bring everything to the table to make sure that everybody's buying so we can, you know, get get what the Oscar fans are waiting on, maybe, you know, get into the, to the tourney and get it run in there. So, yeah, that's really what I want to bring in this year. Love it. Love it. Did you have a, a lot of um, responses from Husker Nation when you committed to, to come here? Mm -hmm. A lot of welcome. I was, I didn't know, like, it was easy for the, for people to, like, find my Twitter and Instagram <laughs> and all of that, but I got a lot of people, like, you know, coming in, just telling me they're glad that I'm asking, uh, I'm asking now, they're glad that I'm here so I can help out the team. 
you know, they, they literally like can't wait to see me play. So it's just like, I can't feel their energy. I, I wasn't even there yet. I was still in Canada, like working out and doing my stuff over there. And I was like, well, there's so much love here. And I love it. It's just like, this is just a great fan base. We had a great one in SMU, but this one is actually pretty cool, <laughs> as I can see right now. Yeah. Last thing I got for you, I, you had a lot of different options. You could have gone a lot of different places, but you picked here. So that makes me believe you believe in the direction of this program. Mm -hmm. Nah, yes, man. Like, like I said, with like the people that they brought in, I already knew. Like, you know, with the freshmen there, like I watched them play a little bit, and I know, like, I knew of them a little bit. So I was like, you know, they're bringing like some good guys. And when you look at like the coaching staff themselves, it's just themselves. It's just like you know, they are like an elite coaching staff, and you know, they they are great people. They're not just good people. They're really great people. So they're going to do whatever it takes for them to, like, you know, bring you to whatever level you want to be as a human, but also as a player. So it's just, like, something that I looked at and was like, it's just, where can you find that? It's not, there's not a lot of people that you can say they're great people on the court. They're great people of the court, and they, they just want you to be the best. So, yeah. Great stuff. Glad to have you in Lincoln. Welcome, and can't wait to see you out on the court. Yeah, perfect. GBR, go Big Red. He's already got it down. GBR, yeah. go Big Red. How? I mean, I told you he was impressive, right? Very mature. Yes. Very mature. And you can tell he's not right out of high school. He's yes. He's yep. three-year starter at SMU. And I think that maturity is going to help. Greasel's got mature as a mature player. Gary is a, a mature player. I think I like the mix of this team. I do, too. And I think all three of those guys are also players that understand that you that they're not going to come in and, and be about me and understand that you, you heard him say it's a day-by-day -day thing. I want to be a leader, but I can't just come in and immediately be a leader. You have to earn that. And I think all three of those guys are that way where they're, they're going to earn that right, you know, to, to lead this team and, and figure out how to play together because, you know, that's so important to, you know, that yes, these are all guys that have done big things in their basketball careers, but you can't do it alone. And so I think the maturity of, of those guys and understanding that, you have to come together and, and find that chemistry as a team. I think these guys all get it and will help set the tone. And Derek Walker's a guy that gets that too. Sure does. We saw him today, funny, when he was up there doing his photo shoot, Scott Brune was, said, hey, did you meet the new guy, Derek Walker? He's j joking, you know, like he's been around a, a little bit. Yeah, Derek's been in college like six years, so <laughs> crazy. But Emmanuel played for some, some of our seasoned audience, played for Tim Jankovic, who was a former K-State guard for Jack Hartman back in the early 80s. Jank retired, and I think that's why Emmanuel wanted to kind of find a, a different start for this next year. Started for Jank for three years, and SMU is in postseason two of those three years. So winning program, he put up good numbers there. He's going to be a nice addition for Husker basketball. And with that interview and the way he talks and handles himself, he's going to have a lot of fans. And on both sides of the floor, he's not just going to be an Correct. offensive guy, but he can shoot it. He had yep. his entire career, he shot it well. And so I know we've heard that before about players that, hey, they're good shooters, but this is a guy that it's proven. He shot it well his entire career. He has records at SMU from behind the arc, but he also, you heard him talking about how much pride he takes on the defensive end. So he's a two-way player. That's important for this team to have. Six Four guard. I think you can probably put him in the uh, starting lineup right now. I think he's going to be fun. That was a great <laughs> you, interview. Good you interview. locking it in? I'm locking him in. He's got my vote. And, right and you know, and, and taking the place of Trey in that sure. defensive role, too. You need that guy that's mm -hmm. not afraid to go guard the best player on the other team. And I think Emmanuel will be up for that challenge. Good to hear from him. Great to have him on the program here tonight. Time to tell you to buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We'll come back, talk some College World Series with the man who knows it all, Kyle Peterson. It's next. Fuel your curiosities and inspire your lifeblood with the first ever Mazda CX-50. Available now at both Woodhouse Mazda locations. The remarkably intuitive standard all-wheel drive Mazda CX-50 is responsive, making the driver's connection to the road natural across a wide variety of driving scenarios. An interior where form and function meet, making the cabin luxurious and durable. See the first ever CX-50 online at WoodhouseMazda.com or in the showroom in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place off 144th and Giles Road. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. 
From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, get ready to be part of the excitement of the 2022-23 Nebraska women's basketball season by joining the season ticket waitlist today. The Huskers return all five starters from a team that won 24 games and advanced to the 2022 NCAA tournament. Make the first choice on the best seats to watch the Huskers in person at Pinnacle Bank Arena this year. Join the waitlist by July 31st at huskers.com slash request list. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. MERS Farm Equipment in Falls City, Nebraska. www.mersfarmequipment.com when you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul, not to mention their injury list. Cox, we're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? They're even longer term than the silent treatment your mom gave you after she found out you backed over her peony bushes with the riding lawnmower. Even though it could have happened to anyone. Oof, talk about long-term. Hi, it's Nick Renault with Dakota Mac. Call me at 308-380-7564 to learn about our competitive 30-year fixed rates on ag real estate loans. Insider Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Just a couple of days away from the start of the College World Series up in Omaha, and, and Mr. Omaha himself, Cal Peterson, joins us now. He'll be on the call for a handful of the games at the CWS. Hello, my friend. How are you? Everything okay in your world? Everything's good. Yeah, everything's real good. Um, on the road a lot the last few weeks, and it's nice to actually be home you were a part of that amazing upset win by the irish in knoxville over the weekend did you see that coming what were your thoughts about that that super i didn't see it coming in that <clears throat> I, I tennessee is and I've, i said it before and i would say it again tennessee's as good a college baseball team as i've ever seen 
and I didn't think anybody beat them there, regardless of who it was. That being said, I, I thought Notre Dame was a pretty tough look for them because um, they were old, are old. I mean, they have eight and nine starters in their lineup are seniors. Both of their starting pitchers start the weekend are seniors. Have graduated. Not only are they just seniors, but they've graduated. And most of those went into that Starkville environment last year. And so I didn't think the environment was going to get them. You didn't feel like they were going to play themselves out of games. Like ultimately, Tennessee was going to have to beat them. Um, and I think if you play that series 10 times, Tennessee probably beats them eight. Um, but they didn't this weekend. And Notre Dame hung around, hung around. And, and then they were the one delivering punches at the end. It was it was definitely a super that I'll never forget. Kyle, how surprising is it that the road teams had as much success this past weekend as they did? I think there's a lot more parity now across the board. I mean, when when you look at what our field is in Omaha, I don't know how anybody could say, here's the favorite. Um, and that includes the two seeds that are here. I mean, Oklahoma's a really good team. Arkansas is a really good team. Um, Ole Miss is playing as well as anybody right now. And they were three. So I think a lot of it is just the parity. And when you go watch Ole Miss play and that lineup that they roll out there, they don't look like a three seed. <laughs> I mean, that, that looks like a team that at one point during the season was actually the number one team in the country. So all those things combined, I, I, I think the reason that we're seeing teams uh, that aren't seated number one or whatever it may be are getting here is, is because there's, there's a lot of parity in the game right now. Texas is back for the umpteenth time, and, and they were a lot of people's preseason picks to do this thing. Have they, kind of, have they found themselves again in your eyes? Yeah. I mean, when they lost Tanner Witt early on the mound, that, that, that spun them for a few weeks, and understandably so, because then it, it ends up being new roles for a lot of different people. But they're very offensive. Um, it's interesting. Teams that you didn't used to think would be offensive, Texas, Stanford, uh, are very offensive. In fact, it's, it's maybe been more the offense that is, has propelled Texas this year. I mean, Ivan Melendez had 32 home runs, and you, you've been to Dish Falk plenty of times, and it, it plays different now than it used to. But Dish Falk was definitely not thought of as an offensive ballpark in the past. And now Texas put up some big-time offensive numbers. It'd be interesting to see what happens when they come into TD uh, or Schwab or whatever it is now. But um, I know it's supposed to be hot, so I would assume the ball's going to fly some. But we've, we've got some really good offenses coming in, and, and Texas is right near the top. Again, visiting with Kyle Peterson of ESPN. You'll be on the call for a lot of the games starting on Friday up at Charles Schwab Field, the former TD Ameritrade ballpark. The, the, uh, your Stanford Cardinal had to battle their way past UConn. That UConn team can really swing it. I don't know that their pitching depth was enough, but yeah. Stanford's certainly a team to be reckoned with, I would gather, this, the, the next 10 days. They're offensive. They're very offensive. Uh, they're really, really athletic. So those things combined, it's just whether or not they're going to pitch enough. And they did during the regular season. I mean, their pitching numbers are pretty good. In the postseason, their pitching numbers have not been very good. They've won it by outscoring people and not necessarily by outpitching them. So I think you can only do that so long. At some point, it catches up to you, and the, and the pitching side has to be there. Um, and if they get that, then they're going to be really tough because I, I don't see them struggling offensively um, very often. It's just, it just it hasn't happened this year, and there's too much athleticism and honestly too much Major League talent in that, in that offensive lineup. Kyle, Dave Van Horn for years has been a bridesmaid. He's been able to get there but can't get quite over the hump, and everybody remembers the drop pop-up they had a few years back. This may not be his best team, but could this be maybe the year that it clicks for him and the Hogs? Oh, yeah. I think it definitely could. Listen, you know, the, the year that Vanderbilt and Virginia Tech played, or excuse me, Vanderbilt and Virginia played back-to-back -back years for the national championship. The year that Vanderbilt won it, Virginia was better, and the year that Virginia won it, Vanderbilt <laughs> was better. Um, and, but they just got them that weekend, and I, I think that's definitely the case. Arkansas is really good. They weren't as consistent offensively as I thought they would be this year. That started to spin here towards the end. Um, but it's a lineup that, that has some maturity to it and has plenty of talent. And honestly, I think they have enough pitching. Um, the Tiger kid, the, the freshman out of the bullpen, is special. Uh, and then their the other starters have have been enough. But I, I maybe it's one of those crazy years that the year after you're supposed to win it, Arkansas ends up figuring it out. 
Kyle, we talked about Notre Dame earlier. It's been 20 years since they've been to Omaha. I think it's been 12 for Oklahoma. What, what do you make of the Sooners? They certainly punched their way into this thing, winning in Gainesville and then knocking out Virginia Tech. I really like them. I had them a few times this year. Uh, I had them against Texas. I may have them against Oklahoma State, too. But um, I liked them at the time, and they still weren't totally healthy. Now they are healthy, and, and they're even better. I mean, they won a Big 12 tournament. I think they should have hosted um, and ultimately had to go on the road twice to get to this point. They, they got a big leaguer behind the plate, and they got a big leaguer at shortstop. And if, if you've got big-time talent up the middle of the diamond, it's usually a team that's going to end up playing pretty well. And I think that's, that's the situation. I, don't, I think you can make an argument for everybody that's here as far as, hey, they got a chance to win it because of this. Um, and I think there's plenty of arguments to be made for Oklahoma. A&M back here, first time that, uh, well, for a long time that Rob Childress is not guiding that program, but a pretty good job done in College Station. They were a home team that did win a Super. What do you make of the Aggies? Uh, the turnaround's pretty impressive. I mean, they didn't, you know, they didn't get in the NCAA tournament last year, and, and then they you know, end up hosting this year and, and playing really well all the way through. In fact, I don't think they lost a game in the postseason. I think they swept through the regional and TCU and, and then swept Louisville. Um, it's an older lineup. It's a very old lineup uh, with most of the guys that didn't start at A&M. When I had them earlier this year, seven of the nine in the lineup did not start their college baseball career at A&M. Wow. Were either transfers or were JUCO transfers. So there's been a big turnaround of that lineup just in the one year that Schloss has been there. Um, and then, I mean, they got a honestly, they got an arm transfer in from Stanford. Jacob Polish, who had graduated at Stanford, Family had gone to A and M. He wanted to go back. He's been a huge part of their bullpen, and it, those things changed him and really gave A and M a chance. They can be very offensive. I, I feel like we're going to say that about most of the teams that are here. That's the way that the college game has really spun. I would say in the last three or four years, is it's more offense based than maybe pitching based. And if that's the case, then um, it's definitely a benefit here because. A&M can stand up and swing it with about anybody. You mentioned the one-time transfer, and that's really changing a lot of sports across the collegiate landscape. You're a former college athlete. Your thoughts about the one-time transfer rule, and how big of an impact has it had, and will can how big an impact will it continue to have on the college game? It'll continue to have a huge impact. Um, I, I have no issue with it. My biggest reason is, listen, coaches can leave whenever they want. And I think that kids should be given the opportunity to do the same thing. Yeah. I think it's only fair. Um, now, acknowledging how much more difficult that it makes a coach's job right now, because not only do you have to go out and recruit, to some extent you got to recruit your own guys that are already there to make sure that nobody's going anywhere outside. But the, what you're going to see is what we saw with a and honestly, is um, you can turn a team over really quick through the portal. And I talked to a few coaches this year that were not active in it year one. And, and some of it was, you know, I, I think they didn't like the idea of it. But they fully admitted, listen, I, I, I may not like it, but at the end of the day, it's there. And if I don't take advantage of it, it's going to be detrimental to our team. Because there's some holes that you can fill in the portal that you just you couldn't do before. Um, you know, good for the game, bad for the game, I don't know. It, it's there. I think that kids deserve the right. Um, and I think you're, you're going to see, you're not going to see it go away. I know that. Um, and you're going to see a lot of teams turn over and look very different from year to year. Kyle, they've tweaked the format a little bit this year. You're starting on Friday, not Saturday. Uh, they've tried to, I think, shorten this thing just a little bit. Your thoughts about the, the new implement, implemented format for the CWS? I like it a lot. Um, I think the biggest thing is you start the finals on Saturday. Yeah. You go Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, there's just there's been a few times that there's no games on Saturday or Sunday, and we start the finals on Monday, and just always kind of felt like the air came out of the place, which is understandable. Um, in this case, start the finals on a Saturday. Fan bases can potentially get here for another weekend instead of having to come back out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and miss a bunch of of work. I, I think that um, I think it's going to create a better in stadium environment, which is is good. I mean, if you know. If you had the teams that we have here this year, I mean, these are, you know, some of the biggest brands in all the college sports. So regardless of when you play it, they're going to show up. But I do think it makes it even better if it starts on a Saturday night. Totally agree. Well, your pal Kevin Cougar wants you to call it the Chuck now that it's Charles Schwab Field. I don't know if you're in line with that. I don't know if you, Kevin, have organized this whole thing. I'm not sure where you stand on that. 
Anything Kevin wants, I will gladly do. So I, I'll call it the check the entire weekend. Very good. Have have some great calls. Looking forward to it. Always appreciate the time. Thank you. Bye, right, man. Good talking to you. Again. There he is, Kyle Peterson of ESPN, joining us on our Sports Nightly Hotline, brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. All right, phone lines open for you, 402-413-2400. Jessica, where we join me next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and Bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and Bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to IIAN.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at TrustedChoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers fans. This Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortis Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Huskers fans, it's time to plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Single game tickets are on sale now at Huskers.com forward slash Ireland start the 2022 season in the best way. Plan your dream trip to Ireland and see your team face the Northwestern Wildcats at Aviva Stadium in Dublin, Ireland. Buy your single game ticket today at huskers.com forward slash Ireland. Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for all your vehicle needs. With two ways to shop, we make car buying easy. 
Purchase your new or certified pre-owned vehicle all from the comfort of your own home with available pickup and delivery options. Plus, chat with a sales team member, reserve your vehicle, and complete a credit application online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Or visit our climate-controlled showroom for comfortable shopping year-round. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBeefeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Here inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. 402-413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question. A lot of action in game one of the cup finals. 2-1 ads. They took a 2-0 lead, but... The Lightning have just scored and they're back to within one. That's a lot of offense early in the series. It was like three goals in like 12 minutes. Yeah, I mean, and the two happen really quickly. Bang, bang. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure some of that's probably nerves. I'm sure the, even these guys get nervous. It's the, it's, the, it's the finals. This is where you go. It's like uh, maybe basketball teams that don't shoot real well early in finals because they're just so hyped up and so ready. But this should be a good series. We'll keep you posted on that. We had Kyle on the last segment, and, and he said something I totally agree with, Jessica. These eight teams that are coming to Omaha, they are some of the bigger brand names in college sports, period. Well, that's what I was saying earlier about, you know, these are programs that their fan bases are going to travel because, you know, they absolutely got Notre Dame. That's, as we mentioned, that's a nationwide brand. That's one of the schools that across the country have huge fan bases. I mean, you got Texas and uh, no doubt one of the biggest programs across the country. And then um, Oklahoma and um, who else? Uh, A&M, Stanford. A&M, Stanford. A they travel so well, they do. too. I mean, they might not be what people might consider a blue blood, but they are a, a huge brand name, but they, they travel so well. Their fans are going to travel up here like crazy so I don't think Stanford travels well but it's a big name program yeah and Auburn fans will probably travel well I would think yeah and mm -hmm. they were here a few years ago and, and got a taste of it and, and now we're back in a short amount of time it gets going Friday first game out of the gate can't wait Oklahoma Texas A&M one o'clock it'll be warm up at Schwab Field in Omaha and then the night game on Friday is Notre Dame and Texas I'm going to go see Arkansas Stanford play Saturday afternoon I might regret it after I lose 15 pounds I, you know one guy I'm glad that I'm, I'm not gonna be sitting by is the sweater who's the sweater Jeremiah Searles he's oh, a sweater yes he he is yeah yeah he would not like that kind of weather at all <laughs> 100 degree temperature that is not him at all no, he and he even gets mad when it's not um, cold enough. He he wants snow. He wants like yes, extreme he, yeah. winter conditions. Yes, he does. The colder, the better, I think, for him. Sam in Omaha on our text line said, "I was just watching Stanford practice over at UNO. So and the, some of those teams are already in town. They all will get a chance tomorrow to have a workout." On the field, it'll be the big media day tomorrow up in Omaha. All eight teams get a chance to do a practice in Omaha before the series starts. Well, as I saw, again, I'm still friends with a lot of people that are on that staff, and their director of operations was tweeting with, um, messaging with, uh, the, I guess, the 
Oklahoma fan club of Nebraska, and they were going to go watch Oklahoma's practice. Yeah. A bunch Good. of fans, and then show up and and to their hotel. So it's such a it's just so neat that you know this time of the year and um, when these fan bases it means a lot to these players sure. when any sport in the postseason when they're you know leaving the hotel to go to the game and they got fans lined up that you know are making a tunnel for them it's just it's special good stuff again gets going in just two days and thanks again to kyle for coming on and being a part we had mike rooney a couple weeks ago he tweeted out a little bit ago he's on his flight coming into omaha so uh, all the national so folks who are you picking I don't know. Tomorrow we got to make yeah. our picks. Yeah, we need to come back and give our U.S. Open picks. We'll do that next because yes. that starts in about 12 hours. Okay. So when that right. gets going, our Sports Hotline hotline open and available for you 402 413 2400. It's brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at Woodhouse. Com. Back to wrap up tonight's show. We'll tell you about what's coming up tomorrow night here on the program. We'll do that next. The 2022 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need you in Memorial Stadium this fall. A customizable Husker football three-game mini plan is on sale now for only $180. To purchase your 2022 Husker football three-game mini plan today, or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. The 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport is street savvy, road trip ready, and always fun to drive. Equipped with standard features like rear automatic braking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist so you can surround yourself with confidence on the road. Plus, explore the three Rogue Sport trims to find the one that's right for you and your lifestyle. Choose your experience and shop, finance, and purchase online at woodhouse.com or in store at Woodhouse Nissan in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place. Our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier. John Deere Dieter supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Time to tell you, there's still time for you to put together your own Husker football three-game mini plan. It's on sale now for $180 for a ticket. You get 
to pick a game in September, a game in October, and a game in November. Your choice is in September, the home opener with North Dakota, followed up by the next week's game with Georgia Southern. Your two selections to choose from in October, Indiana or Illinois, and in November, either the Gophers or the Badgers for your November game. You mix and match them together. Seats are located in the north and south end zones. You can do all that online at huskers.com slash tickets. Again, $180, a great plan, some good momentum on that. So get in there and put that together. Be a great, I'll tell you what, I t- it just hit me like a bolt of lightning. That is a great Father's Day gift right there. Yes. Put together a little three-pack for Dad right there. There you go. Nice. All right. Uh, U.S. Open starts tomorrow. And with, because it's in Boston East Coast, it'll be early, like 7 a.m., uh, back there, so like 6 a.m. here, they'll be teeing off and going. Uh, time to make some picks. I am down between Tony Finau, who finished second like last pick. week I in like Canada, and Daniel Berger, who I think's really good in the majors. I'm gonna, I want to go Finau, but I can't. I'm gonna go Daniel Berger. That's my pick. Um, yeah, I am. I told you I'm gonna go with a a live golfer. So I'll go with one of those, Bryson DeChambeau. Okay. Um, because I, I mean, I'm a big Dustin Johnson fan, but um, I just he's not playing well right now. So um, my other pick that's not live, I'll go with Justin Thomas. Justin won the PGA Southern Hills in Tulsa a few weeks ago, and he finished third up in Canada last week. So obviously playing very, very well. So should be fun. Uh, again, f- six forty-five Eastern is the first tee time which means 545 here. So by the time all of us are waking up, uh, there'll be guys out there on the course a couple of holes into this. This is one of the oldest golf courses. When the USGA was formed and they started playing the U.S. Open some 120 years ago, they kind of rotated through five courses. This was one of them. And there was a movie, I think it's called The Greatest Game Ever Played, about a golfer named Francis We Met. He won the U.S. Open there in, like, 1912. Pretty good movie. If you like sports movies, it's a pretty good sports movie. This is always a special weekend on Father's Day. Yep. And my, I, it means a lot to my dad to always watch it. And, um, you know, sometimes seeing the, the golfers that win with their, um, their dads yep. that sometimes are there. It's just it's a special weekend. I love the U.S. Open. And um, I just I, I hope that we can maybe at least throughout the – broadcast set the live stuff aside because it's been so much about it and i'm just i'm sick of hearing about it i think it hopefully will improve things for these golfers for these athletes i think that's why a lot of them are playing in have made the decision to to play in that is is to try to make some changes with the pga but i hope for at least during the broadcast we can set it aside shut it off yes right? there's no need to go down that path just leave that alone i'm with you i hope they do and then let's have a playoff on sunday Ooh, that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be fun. Avs have scored again. It's now again? 3-1 Avs in the first period. So the four goals have been scored in period one. Tomorrow night, NBA, Golden State game six with Boston. The odds makers like the Celtics to send this thing back to the West Coast for a game seven. So we'll have some fun with that tomorrow night on the program. And we do have a fun show lined up for you. We're going to hear from Nick Henrich, who certainly burst onto the scene last year, really established himself as a quality Big Ten linebacker. We're going to hear from him tomorrow night on the program. Now one of the older guys on this defense and uh, certainly looks good. We uh, ran into him last week. He just looks like he's in great shape. Had a whole season last year where he stayed healthy, played all 12 games for the Big Red, so looking forward to that. We're also going to talk to Angie Thacker, who's another member of the Hall of Fame class for Husker Sports that will be enshrined in the fall. She was a tremendous track athlete here back in the 80s, so she is a part of that class. We heard from Bill Straub the other night. We heard last week from uh, Christina Hotelli and also Shane Komene. So we'll hear from Angie Thacker tomorrow night. And Aaron Sorensen is going to be a big part of this title line uh, presentation over at the Coliseum on Saturday night. It's going to be here as well. It's going to be a special event. Jordan Larson, Carol Frost, Peaches James, uh, Brenda Van Langen, all a part Jordan of Larson. it. Yeah, I mean, Jordan Larson's hosting the panel. So, yeah, big names of women that have really been instrumental to Nebraska athletics. A lot of a lot of work been put into it, and so we're going to talk to Aaron about all of that. Great. Should be fun. Hey, buckle up. Put the phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. That'll put a lid on our show tonight. Thanks to all the guys in the back, Tim, Andrew, and Cole. Have a great night. Enjoy your night. We'll be back with you again tomorrow night for another edition of Sports Nightly. 
hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 Bronco Sport is built wild for the thrill seeker, the sightseer, and the day tripper. A capable and dependable SUV that's ready to tackle the dirt, dust, and mud. Bronco Sport offers four models to match the way you explore the outdoors. Shop, finance, and buy your way. Online at WoodhouseFord.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmith. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Road townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. 